the previous application. Okay, so I already primed my nails. I'm gonna start with my pinky. So what I do is I dip my brush slightly into the liquid uh, acrylic. Just enough. I dip the brush into the powder. Just a tip. I get it like that. I apply it on the nail while it's nice and wet and I kind of spread it. Okay. 
guys, right now, nothing's getting better here in Florida. Um, the second round of, you know, this pandemic is hitting harder than when it first started happening, which is freaking crazy. But it is what it is. And there's so many, like, theories and stories and, you know, some people believe one thing, some people believe another. My thing is, I'm not trying to find out if it is true or not because that's the thing. That's the thing. People won't believe until, God forbid, something happens to one of their loved ones. I'm not willing to take that chance whether it's true or not. I don't want to find out because, God forbid, it's going to be my, um, I'm not going to be able to live with myself. I don't think anyone could. So, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, you know, find out if it is or true or not. And I do, as I'm told, I wear my mask. Oh, God, guys. Life has changed so much in a short time. Like, 2020 has been, whoa, Glitter. Whoa. You know, like, like, it is like, is this really happening? Is all this really happening? Like, um, you know, the reports, when they go to, like, some of these retail stores, malls and stuff, like, how empty these stores are. It's so creepy and scary and sad. Like, unemployment is, like, skyrocket. Um, you know, I'm like, what is happening? What happened? Like, whoa. It's so sad because, like, we, you know, I mean, thank goodness my husband's still working. I mean, thank goodness, you know, um, some people still have work and, you know, but I feel so bad for some of those people that lost their jobs and, um, have kids and things like that to me that's like so so sad like I feel for these people and then like for me guys like I um, I'm blessed enough to say that I've had I've had work um, but I've uh, I've um, declined because I cannot control I go to I'm a, a, a location makeup artist. I really don't have a studio at home. So if I were to like have my own studio, it'd be different because I can control my environment. It is my environment. And if you are not willing to follow the rules, then I'm sorry, then you won't get any service from me, you know. But if I'm going to someone's location, it's their their space and um, you know, I can have all the roles I, I want but if they're not willing to comply you know, I don't want to be put in that situation so therefore, because it's not an environment I can control I've um, declined work and it's terrible very terrible because, I mean, you know right now, especially like graduation um some of the people that were able to graduate, I don't know, it being drive through whatever, some of some of these people just wanted to take pictures and get their makeup done. And I had so many people, you know, try to contact me for my services and unfortunately I was not able to, you know, accept. You know, I I felt so bad because I know some of these people were desperate to please. They have photo photo um sessions and and I get it, I get it, but you know what? I'm just not willing to take that risk, guys. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I'm overdoing it, but you know what? I start thinking about my parents, and I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not, you know? Because, you know, they they were saying that you got to treat the situation as if, like, for social distancing, you got to treat everything like as if, like, everyone has COVID. Everyone has this whatever virus or sickness or whatever so uh, 
these are so nice and clean this makes your hand look so pretty alright let's move on